Hello, I would like to share with you an astronomy teaching tool that can help teachers or anybody help explain the apparent motion of the stars in the sky. I do stargazing programs with adults and children and everybody loves this technique. I start my program by explaining to everybody that I carry an umbrella with me. As everybody knows, if you carry an umbrella with you, it won't rain. And so I call this my astronomy umbrella. The surprise comes later in the program when I open the umbrella up. This idea was not mine. It actually comes from the author H.A. Ray, known for his series Curious George. In his book, one of his explanations uses a picture of an umbrella rotating with the stars painted inside of it. So I did exactly that. Inside of this umbrella, I painted stars. And I did these very carefully using a star chart. H.A. Ray's book has great star charts for reference drawing. Make your umbrella stretch from here to here. Here's the North Star, Cassiopeia, the Little Dipper, and the Big Dipper. Over here, we have Cassiopeia. On the other side, we have the Big Dipper, the two pointer stars in the Big Dipper point to the North Star, and then of course the North Star is part of the constellation the Little Dipper. Now for the demonstration. I hope nobody's superstitious about umbrellas inside. So you can do this by yourself, but it's better if you take somebody from your audience, especially a kid. You have them stand there with the umbrella over their head. The top of the head is the North Pole, and the North Pole looks straight up to the North Star, which is the center of the umbrella right above your head. So the stars appear to stand still in the night sky. The Earth, however, is turning counterclockwise as seen from above, and so you can have your audience member demonstrate this. You can hold the umbrella still and have them turn in circles. Again, this is why it's good to have a kid do this. You can have them turn in circles until they're dizzy. <clears throat> now, although the Earth is turning in circles, from the standpoint of the Earth, it appears as though the stars are turning in circles. So you can have your audience member show what it looks like the stars are doing from the point of view of the Earth. If you're standing on the North Pole, this is what you're going to see. But if you're standing somewhere over here at normal latitudes of, let's say, the United States, you're going to be standing looking up kind of at an angle. And another way of looking at that is by tilting this down at whatever angle your latitude is. And that's why, in the night sky, the stars appear to move like this. The north star, very close to the axis of the umbrella, very close to the north axis in the sky, appears to stand almost still, and all the other stars appear to rotate counterclockwise around it. The best thing is if you can do this outside with the actual stars behind you. You can line the umbrella up with the North Pole, have everybody stand on this side of the umbrella, and look up and actually align the Big Dipper or Cassiopeia with the actual constellation up in the sky. Once you do that, people will see the umbrella up in the sky. And you can explain how throughout the night they will watch the stars slowly turn. So you're doing this in the dark with red lights to help out with your night vision. Turn around for a second. I have an ultraviolet light in my hand and I'm charging up the stars on the umbrella. I then turn it around for everybody to see. And then if you want to emphasize one of the constellations, you turn your ultraviolet light back on and show them the Little Dipper. There it is. Show them the Big Dipper right here. Cassiopeia over here.
so it's simple and cheap to make. A black umbrella. An ultraviolet light. You can buy these for about $20 on Amazon. Then I paint white stars and then I add glow-in-the-dark paint on top of the white paint. If you just put glow-in-the-dark paint, it's somewhat translucent and it doesn't show up well in the daytime. The glow-in-the-dark paint shows up really well at nighttime. And then I always keep my UV light attached onto the umbrella so that I don't lose two of them. <laughs> this never fails to entertain the audience and if you are lucky enough to be able to do this with a group of kids, you will get a gigantic ooh and ah from everybody in your audience. They love it. Thanks and happy teaching.